Hey everybody, welcome to the second day of our awesome web 20 day challenge. My name is Tina and today we will be talking about how to set up a Google Analytics and what should be your online business goal. Why should you watch it? Well, measurements and analytics are generally very important if we are taking them as a smart business partner. So um, make sure that you will watch the whole video because we will be learning how to set up a great measurement tool, which is called Google Analytics. And we will be talking about your online business goal. Before we will dig into the data, let's first think, what is your business goal? Actually, you know what? Pause the video, pause the video right now and write down on a piece of paper your business goal and the goal of your web page. What do you think these two things are? Did you pause the video? Pause it. <laughs> now you have something written down on your piece of paper, right? And I will tell you right now what the basically only three possible goals are and one of these goals should be on that paper so let's see if it is in there or not the first option is actually to increase revenues the second option is to reduce costs and the third option is to win to win elections for example so does it fit is it same if not check it out once again it should be very 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 similar with your web page. There are also just these three main goals to increase revenues, uh, reduce costs or to win. Um, it's the best perspective to look to your web page so it actually can work for you. It's not just some presentation. If you will figure out your goal on your web page like this, the web page is going to work for you because you will know what to look for. And actually, in the next video, we will look more deeply into each KPIs, key performance indicators, which could help you to uh, reach these goals. But before we will do so, we need to set up the measurement tool. So let's see if you have it or not. Google Analytics. Have you heard of it? Do you have it? If yes, what was the last time you logged in? You don't even remember, right? It's totally fine and totally okay. But you know what? Go right now, pause the video again, and search for the logins. Because you will need to log in there. Why am I even mentioning the fact that you should go and find the logins? Well, I know from my experience that it's very often that the, our clients have some troubles to find the logins. And uh, it was a few times that they even did not find them at all and we had to uh, log in into the new account. We had to make a new account in the Google Analytics, which is pity because we lost a lot of data and which we don't have access to anymore. And these data are very important to make some business decisions. So, and this is also the reason why those of you who don't have Google Analytics at all should log in there and should create an account. Because even though if you are not going to pay attention to it right now, you might need it in the future and you will have the data. Because the Google Analytics, the tool itself, it starts to collect the data from the time you log in in there and from the time you connect it with your web page. What really surprised me was the fact that one of our clients, the professional football club, did not have Google Analytics at all. Well, we set it up and then they were surprised because they figured out how many visitors they've got per month. It was thousands and thousands of visitors per month. So now they have the public on, the audience they can work with. Now for those who don't have Google Analytics yet, it's a must have tool and don't worry, it's for free. You don't have to pay a single penny for it, which is great. You just need to log in in there. The a link is below the video. 
So just pause the video, check the link, and log it in there. You will need an IT guy for this to help you. But don't worry, it will take him literally just like a five minutes of his time, or her time, of course. Um, uh, when you will log it, uh, when you will log in into the Google Analytics, in the end you will get the piece of code which you will just send to your IT guy, and he or she will uh, upload it on your web page, and you are basically done. And if you are using a content management system, it might happen that there will be this little small field where where you just put the number of your Google Analytic account and you are set up again and it's done and you don't even need an IT guy. How you know it's working? Well check it out tomorrow morning or maybe in a two or three hours. There will be a first data in there, there will be some numbers and that's the goal of it, uh, that it will collect the numbers, the data. Yeah. So it will actually take some time before you will get some relevant data, but that's all right. We still can learn in the next day uh, where you will find the data you need for your business to run. Now you have the goal, the main goal of your web page, and you have access to your Google Analytics. So these are the two important things from today you should have, and you are done. Isn't that great? <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have everything. If you need anything, just comment below the video. I'll help you. And see you tomorrow.